What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing a beer from the Holmes Brewery, and they're out of Ann Arbor, Michigan, and this is their Sinoger. So they're calling this a sour, a double IPA that is brewed with lactose, a blackberry, and peach, and then aged on vanilla beans, comes in at 9.7% alcohol by volume. No IBUs list in the time of review. This can is approximately three weeks old. I wanna give a huge thanks and shout out to a good friend of mine and viewer of the channel, Jeff, aka No Jinx, for hooking me up with this one. I'll post a link in the description box to the beer mail boxing video I did that contains all the goodies Jeff sent my way. He did send me two Holmes uh, beers and from the small sample, size, small sample size I've had from Holmes, everything's been pretty damn delicious. So I'm thinking that both of them are gonna be great, but that's why we review them. So thank you very much, Jeff, I do appreciate it. So yeah, uh, a big sour IPA, 9.7% uh, alcohol by volume, and a lot, of, a lot of things going on in this one, lactose, blackberry, peach, vanilla beans. Now for the hops, they are using Nelson to brew with, and then they're double dry hopping with Simcoe, Cascade, and Galaxy. So yeah, sounds pretty delicious to me. Let's get it into a glass, see what we got going on. So uh, from what I remember, Jeff uh, really dug this one. He was all about it. So yeah, I think I am as well. Look at that color, absolutely beautiful. Can't get much better than that color-wise when you're talking about blackberries, right? Looks 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 fantastic. And I really like the label. Kind of reminds me, I don't know, of like the um, Hudson Valley beers kind of. Very simplistic and whatnot, but like you know, different shapes. And I'm not, you know, when it comes to like labels and stuff, can art, when I see one that's cool, I'm into it. But this one just kind of has Hudson Valley vibes to it. Anyway, this pours out this really deep purple, just uh, it has about a, a half finger to three quarters of a finger of this light pink head. Very creamy looking very murky and turbid yeah that looks beautiful uh, looks like some kind of fruit juice let's get a nose oh that's nice so hmm, getting a little bit of everything actually big blackberry uh component and blast in this one which based on the color based on it is the first fruit of the two uh listed on the label I'd imagine it should be black, uh, blackberry forward and it is big blast of blackberry a little bit of peach like the pit of a peach closer to the pit of a peach Little bit of vanilla, not a real big blast of it. They're aging it on vanilla beans, they're using lactose. I would think there'd be a little bit more vanilla in the nose. It's, it's a bit reserved, I'd say. And then I'm getting a nice uh, IP characteristic to it. There's, so when it comes to sour IPs, regardless if they're a regular sour IP, a double, a triple, whatever the case may be, I'd say 90% of the time, might be a little bit high, but let's just say 90% of the time, uh, I usually don't get a huge IP characteristics in sour IPs. I think the best brewery is the aforementioned Hudson Valley when it comes to sour IPs. They just do such a sh such a good job with them in general that I haven't found too many breweries that when it comes to sour IPs, like I'm like, oh man, that's totally an IP, but it has sour characteristics to it. If it's a fr fruit addition to, I get that. It's usually just kind of like a sour with fruit. And this one has a little bit of that IPA characteristic, a little bit of hop forward, like a citrus, zesty citrus to it. Uh, a bit of like a, a ruby red grapefruit, a sweeter, zesty citrus, orange, tangerine, a little bit of dankness too, touch of herbaceousness over top of this, you know, this huge fruit blast. Yeah, definitely herbal, herbaceous, and uh, dank. That zesty citrus component is there too. Not really getting much in the way of like a tropical or stone fruit outside of the fact that there's berries in here and peach. Just I'm talking about like the actual hop character. It smells pretty good. I want to get into it. So thanks again, Jeff, and cheers to everyone. That's fucking... I was just joke to death. That is fucking amazing. Yes, that is, del that is delicious. That is delicious. It's like blackberry creamsicle all day for me. The vanilla is way more pronounced in the taste. Big blast of vanilla. Uh, body on this one, this is like higher side of medium body into lower side of full appropriate 9.7%. Has almost a thick pulpy feel to it even though it, it isn't. This isn't like one of those, you know, slushies or fruit smoothie um, sours that you get, but it has a nice thickness to the uh, body. Mm-hmm. Mouthfeel, soft, smooth, super creamy. That lactose is doing its job. I'd imagine they're probably using oats in here as well. Just so soft and smooth. Super creamy too. Uh, body mouthfeel, spectacular on this one. Holy shit. Tell you what, the nose was a little bit underwhelming. And the taste, it's overwhelming to a great degree. I just, let me go back in for another sip. Tons of blackberry. There's that. More of like a under-ripened peach, like more of a slightly acidic, sour type of peach note to it. It's not really sweet. Like some more to the pit of the peach where 
I'm not getting an overt sweetness from the peach. The blackberry shines in this one, uh, don't get me wrong, but nice little peach character. That herbaceous, herbal kind of dankness is omnipresent, but it's underlying. It, it's there throughout the palette, but it doesn't step in the way of the fruit character. There's a little bit of that zesty, uh, I'm not going to say ruby red now, it's just more of like a white grapefruit, zesty, like orange peel in there as well. So the hop character is actually present in this one, which is nice, but it's um, accentuating the sour portion of the beer, which is really cool. This one finishes more um, like of a firm tartness, low to firm tartness. This is not approach sour for me. On the back of the palate, I'm left with a touch of dryness, some residual sweetness, and then, like I said, a firm tartness. Uh, there's a little bit of an acidic, uh, I guess, like a vibe, a punch on the back of the palate, like just a, a kiss of it. Uh, it's not overwhelming, but it's definitely noticeable. This drinks like it's like six and a half, seven percent. I could not tell you this beer is 10% in the least. The only thing, if I was doing this blind as a whodunit beer review, the only thing I would be telling you about this one that I would, for me, think, this is the way I would explain it if I was doing it blind. It doesn't have the alcohol that you would get with a 9.7% beer, but it has the body and mouth feel that you would expect out of a 9 to 10% beer. So I think body and mouth feel, sure, this is 9.7%. Alcohol, it's like two or three percentage points lower. So. I think they've done a great job hiding the alcohol. I think they've done a fantastic job with this beer. I, I love that vanilla lactose thing. I didn't really mention that after the beginning, but the reason why I said blackberry creamsicle is that that vanilla is much like the dankness, omnipresent, but it's bigger than that dank, herbaceous, herbal hop note. It's, it's, it's there, but it's really weird because it's nuanced, but it's also pretty bold. And I know that sounds really stupid, but like, Right up front, I'm hit with it, and it just seems like it lingers throughout the rest of the palette. So you're hit with a big blast of vanilla up front, but then it carries on through the back, and it keeps gradually decreasing. But yeah, blackberry creamsicle. I like this a lot. This is an amazing beer. One of the better sour IPs I've had recently, honestly. And I'm going to drink the shit out of that can because it's fantastic. So um, Sinosure from uh, Holmes, low 4.75 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.65 out of 5. This is fucking absolutely delicious. This might be the best sour IPA as far as like a true sour IPA that I've had since Hudson Valley's uh, beers that I review. It just, and that was like a year ago, over a year ago. Uh, this is just, holy shit, is this well made. I really like this. Um, it's all over place, very complex, but in such a positive way. I cannot stress to you enough how good this beer is. By the time you see this, it's probably going to be, you know, five, six weeks old. Uh, but if you can get your hands on this, you can trade for it. I think this one will hold up for at least a couple months. Uh, so, yeah, definitely seek this one out if you can. Uh, price and availability on it. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are brewery only. And the price point, I don't think Jeff said what it was. But I imagine $20 four-pack, $22 four-pack. You're talking about almost 10% uh, sour double IPA with blackberries and peaches and vanilla beans and lactose and the whole nine. So this is probably 5 to $5.5 a can. I'm fine with paying that, certainly for the quality. But that's kind of the going rate for uh, these types of beers. So, yeah, anyway, 4.65 out of 5 for Sinusure from... Um, Holmes, great beer. Thank you very much, Jeff, for sending this one my way. I have their Slither to review. That is a big triple IPA, and it'll be interesting to see how that one um, compares to this one just in terms of quality. But uh, everything I've had from Holmes has been pretty damn delicious, so I think that one's going to be great too. So, yeah. Anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Thanks again, once again, to Jeff, and uh, until the next one, cheers. <laughs>